Hello and welcome to this presentation on indifference curve analysis. In this particular slideshow we're going to examine how consumers maximise their satisfaction given the income that they possess. So we're going to look at what's known as the budget line and we're going to explore consumer equilibrium. OK, let's have a look at the budget line or budget constraint. And here we've got uh, our two goods, pizzas and hamburgers. We could have had other goods, but our previous example involved pizzas and hamburgers, so we'll stick with that. And our consumer has been given £45 a week, and they can spend that money either on pizza or on hamburgers. We're going to say that the price of a pizza and the price of a hamburger are £4.50 and £3 each, respectively. So let's have a look at a point like point A. At point A, the, this particular individual with the income of £45 a week could spend all their money on pizzas. They could buy 10 pizzas, £4.50 each, that's £45. They wouldn't have any money left over to buy hamburgers, so they'd buy zero hamburgers at that particular point, point A, which represents 10 pizzas and zero hamburgers. Alternatively, of course, um, we could be at a point like F, and in that situation, the, this particular consumer could spend all their money of £45 on, and buy 15 hamburgers. 15 hamburgers times £3 is £45. They wouldn't buy any pizzas. So point F shows 15 hamburgers and zero pizzas. Of course, um, this particular consumer could also uh, be at a point like B or C or D or E. Point B, for example... You would, uh, this particular consumer would spend uh, money buying eight pizzas at £4.50 each, that's £36, and uh, buy three hamburgers at uh, £3 each, that's £9, that's £45. And every point on this line uh, is, uh, equates with £45. Uh, and if you move from one point to another, from A to B, you're showing the cost of uh, giving up uh, pizza for example to get an extra hamburger and, uh, and vice versa if you move the other way so we can say that this budget line which is, says the, something about the affordable set of purchases that this consumer can make uh, that the budget line is showing the opportunity cost of consuming either pizza or hamburgers um, ok well an important aspect of the budget line is its slope and uh, you should note just for the moment that the slope of the budget line is equal to the price of the hamburger divided by the price of the pizza or the price of X divided by the price of Y more generally. It's a negative slope as well so it has a minus sign in front of it. Uh, so wh what's going on here? How do we get to this particular point? How do we know that the slope of the budget line is m equal to the minus the price of hamburgers over the price of pizzas? Well, the way to understand it is to think about um, the total spending on hamburgers and the total spending on pizzas being equivalent, equal to the income that you have, our £45. So PH times QH is your total spending on hamburgers plus the price of pizzas times the quantity of pizza, PP times QP, is equal to income. A little bit of rearranging so that we've got the total spending on pizza, PQ. Uh, PP times QP equals income less the spending on hamburgers, PH times QH. Dividing through by uh, the price of pizza gives us an equation which says that the quantity of pizza is equal, which is our, remember our y-axis variable, it's on the vertical axis, uh, equals income divided by the price of pizza minus PH over PP, uh, that's our slope coefficient, times the quantity of hamburgers. Looks very complicated, but just for a moment, let's explore it a little bit more detail. First, uh, one should take y over pp. Well, this is clearly the intercept value uh, in relation to uh, qp. So if we have our income, uh, which is uh, clearly equal to uh, 45, divided by the price of pizza, which we said was £4.50, then at point A, which is our intercept value, we would have 10 pizzas. The rest is just the slope that's saying, and it's minus pH over um, P, 
pp so here we get some idea of the gradient of uh, this budget line ok well we had um, spending on pizza and hamburger £45 that was what we had available our money income of £45 what happens if we doubled our money income what would happen to our um, affordable um, consumption set of um, pizza and hamburger well in this particular case what we get is we can buy twice as much pizza as uh, we could before and twice as much ham hamburger we've increased our um, our income from 45 to 90 pounds so basically what can happen is that our budget line will shift out in a parallel fashion that's important in a parallel fashion to the original budget line because our income has changed what would happen if our uh, price of one of our goods went up or down well in the example we've got before us we've got the price of pizza going up to nine pounds let's go back to our old uh, income of 45 pounds uh, clearly what happens now is that we can we can we can't buy as much pizza so at the extreme whereas before we spent all our 45 pounds on pizza when we were at point a we could buy 10 pizzas now with the pr price of pizza gone up from four pound fifty to nine pounds we can only buy five pizzas of course we won't buy any hamburgers at that point but thereafter we also can have choices about hamburgers and pizzas that we can afford okay so let's bring together our indifference curves from the previous presentation and uh, our budget line our budget line is a b that showed our showed our affordable consumption set and ultimately uh, there is a, an indifference there an indifference map which we have to put on top of this and we're trying to maximize our satisfaction given by our indifference curves our utility maximize our utility given our income constraint so our u utility curves uo u1 u2 u3 represent increasing levels of utility and we're in equilibrium where at point e where the marginal rate of substitution of hamburgers for pizza that is if we want one more hamburger how many pizzas do we forego it's a downward sloping uh, curve so it has, an, some, has negativity to it and that's equal to the uh, ratio of relative prices um, a negative price of hamburgers over the price of pizza and the best way of explaining equilibrium is to say what happens when it isn't equilibrium well at point C for example you can see that um, the slope of the indifference curve U1 uh, is shallower than the slope of the budget line so clearly here the uh, marginal rate of substitution is a lot lower than the relative price ratio so we'd be better off um, reallocating our spending reallocating our income and buying more uh, pizza and moving away from hamburgers so moving from C to E and that would obviously yield us more utility U2 is a greater level of satisfaction than U1 yields U2 is a higher level of utility than U1 at point D uh, here we can see that the marginal rate of substitution of hamburgers for pizzas is actually a lot greater than uh, the budget line so here we're better off uh, reallocating our, our spending so that we uh, have more hamburgers and uh, less pizza so there are forces pushing us towards E finally let's just take a, a moment to have a look at uh, changes in relative prices here in our in initial um, equilibrium we're at point E on where the, the budget line AB uh, is tangential to the indifference curve UO but clearly if the, the price of pizza rose and whilst the price of hamburger fell that is that uh, there was a change in the slope of the budget line instead of being AB now 
with the dearer pizza price we can buy less pizza A1 but the fall in the price of hamburgers means we can buy more hamburgers so we get a new budget line A1 B1 we actually end up at a new equilibrium E1 and clearly with this particular uh, new equilibrium if we were at a point like E we would substitute away from uh, pizzas we buy P P1 less pizza and H H1 more hamburgers just because of the change in relative prices that's what happens when prices change like that we substitute away from goods who are, that are relatively dear towards those that are relatively cheaper and that's what's happened here the price of pizza has risen relative to the price of hamburgers which has actually fallen okay well we'll leave the presentation here for the moment thank you very much for listening